thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Commonwealth can take a real toll on you if you let it. I mean, this place make monsters out of men. You wish we could ride a train everywhere instead of having to walk? I know I do.
Hey, at least it's honest. Boy. New location discovered. We could really use your help. What do you need? Something nasty is living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. What's really too bad is that it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that would love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. Where is this place? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. New mission objective received. Mission set is active. Location discovered. Get the hell out of my face.
here, we'll find it. Bohio.
New mission objective received. Abraham. Hey. New location no. discovered. Oh, sorry. I thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. Who are the forged? Bunch of trumped up raiders, obsessed with fire and metal. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. I don't guess you'd be crazy enough to try and get it back for me. I've got caps, if that's what you want. What about your son, Jake? You don't care what happens to him? I didn't raise my boys to be raiders. As far as I'm concerned, he's dead to me. New mission objective received. Can you tell me anything else about the Forged? They're led by a guy named Slag. Came in from outside of the Commonwealth a few months back and started recruiting. Mostly they've just been strong on the folks. But with how quick they've been growing, it's just a matter of time till the raids get worse. What kind of a sword am I looking for? One of them old pre-war swords, rigged up to shoot flames from the blade. Probably why Jake thought they'd let him join. So, what do you say? How much does this pay? 150 caps. I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor. And I'll make it up to you as best as I can. Mission set is active. Mission set is active. New location discovered. Better in our hands anyway.
Oh, something should make you so. It was easy. Most of them were never going to be worth forging in the first place. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But You're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't complete. You said we'd be waiting outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh God, what do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. Please you don't have to go. do this. Well, you're right. You're be, I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the forge. I just want to go home.
killer. You must be pretty strong to make it here. A bunch of raiders flinging fire? Not even a challenge. Most of them were never gonna be Oops. worth forging in the first place. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But You're gonna kill me. Resident but I Sleeper. Everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please, let me go! You're right. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do any more. I just want to go home. Hey there. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. What were you doing with those guys anyway? Uh, yeah. Well, I just... I thought we'd be raiding outside of the Commonwealth, and that if I joined them, I could provide for my family. I don't know. God, my dad's right. I'm such an idiot. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask. But I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with me. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm.
Why Japanese? You Japanese. I am Korean. Oh, so sorry. There is a magazine and a bobblehead close to Slag's boss chest. Bobblehead. Stay 
sharp.
Excuse me. I'm so nervous. I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Mama, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if... Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's running. Hey, let me ask. Sure. Ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah. I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. It took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor and poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh... <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. Didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Was it hard, settling in? No, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to a good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth, but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things... Uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? I think we ought to talk. Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? Oh, no. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. We've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. And 
I figure that offer to balance the board. So, anything you want to know? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war. Faded to all heck with guys dressed like this, doing what I do. Putting on the hat and trench coat, I figured it'd let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. So, who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. I don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. That's terrible. They really just threw you away? Sure did. It's quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. First person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. The local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they treated me like a human being trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trade out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. I do what's needed. Well, you certainly seem to judge doing good pretty high on your list of necessities. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. Excuse me. Thanks again for getting me out of here. Mr. Finch. She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's something for your help. I think you should hang on to that sword. It put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help you. Mission objective completed.
New location discovered. Slav. We're the only Tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? A slog? How'd you come up with that name? We didn't. It was the caravan traders who started that. I started this place a few years back, but couldn't think of a name for it. Then one day, one of the traders pulls up after it's been raining for hours and says he's never had to slog through so much mud in his life. I asked him if it was worth it, and he said... For the best tar berries in the Commonwealth, it was definitely worth it. Working here is like a slog through the mud. It's tough going and you'll get dirty doing it. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. You've probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. Why did the mayor throw you out? We're ugly. We turn feral and kill people. We give the kids nightmares. All the usual stuff we get from you smooth skins. Now, it's true that there was one incident in Diamond City where a ghoul turned feral and someone got hurt. But I ask you this. How many humans have suddenly turned violent and killed someone? I've seen it more times than I care to admit. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Anything I can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. We can't sell tar berries without traders, and trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. Do you know where they're coming from? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. New mission objective received. Mission set is active.
beast. Not that it's an honor. They're in our hands anyway. New location discovered. What's that?
can carry something if you need me to. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. By the way, feel free to use our workshop. I'm glad to count you as a friend. Just what I ordered. Location discovered.
wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we? Location discovered.
What do you think's in there? Bet you five caps the local level. New location discovered. Close enough. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Just looking to do a little trading? Well, you come to the right place. We got all kinds of stores here. I'd really like to come in. All right. You can come in. Just make sure you're on your best behavior. Anyway. I'm not really supposed to turn people away unless it's obvious they're trouble. Man, you seem all right to me. So, welcome to Fourville. And before you say anything about the name, don't bother. I didn't come up with it. The mayor likes to meet all new visitors, so the town hall should be your first stop. If you have a crime to report, come find me. If you commit a crime, the next person you'll be talking to is my rifle. I hope we're clear. New mission objective received. Mission set is active. Welcome to the Fourville Town Hall. On behalf of Mayor Sanders, allow me to welcome you to our beautiful town. Now, what the hell do you want? What do you do around here? Haven't you heard? I'm the mayor. Oh, wait. I'm not. I'm just his secretary. Now, what the hell do you want? Need to see the mayor about something. Oh, is that all? Uh, his office is just to your left. Hi. Why, hello there. Roscoe radioed and mentioned we had a visitor coming down. I hope he didn't give you too much trouble. He loves to try and vet visitors. He didn't really tell me much about you. Perhaps you'd like to fill me in? Or maybe you have some questions for me. What is this place? This is Fallville. It might not look like much, but it's the product of generations of digging and building. Now, I'm sure you've noticed our town's main attraction, Vault 4. I always make sure to let the new visitors know the door can't be open. It hasn't opened since the day the bombs fell over 200 years ago. Our ancestors waited outside the vault, expecting shelter when it opened after 20 years. But it never did. Some people, me included, still hold out hope that the vault will open one day. But listen to me talking your ear off. If you really want to learn more, you can visit the site of the original town in front of the vault door. Or you can visit our museum above the entrance. Feel free to take in what the town has to offer. Enjoy yourselves. My door is always open if you want to have a little chat.
Welcome to Fourville. I've not seen you around town before. Are you interested in seeing the Fourville tents? Or perhaps purchasing a souvenir? I've decided to change how I look at things. How I live my life. Tell me more about this vault. Do you want the talk? All right, here goes. <clears throat> more than 200 years ago, the Great War broke out across the world. Thousands of people took shelters in things called vaults, like the one behind me. When the vaults sealed, they were expected to open up after 20 years. There were some who decided that if they could wait that long, they could find shelter when it opened. George Willis was one such man. Together with his family, he arrived in the entrance cave to Vault 4 on the day of the Great War. Behind me, you can see the very tent he pitched for shelter, made from a recovered log and a sheet of plastic. It was a far cry from the shelters which would come later. I think I've heard enough for now. No problem. You can come back anytime and hear the story again. Not right now. We're open 24 hours a day if you change your mind. <clears throat> Welcome back. Are you here for the talk or to buy a souvenir? I'm interested in the history of this place. So, you want the talk? All right. <clears throat> Here goes. More than 200 years ago, the Great War broke out across the world. Thousands of people took shelters in things called vaults, like the one behind me. When the vaults sealed, they were expected to open up after 20 years. There were some who decided that if they could wait that long, they could find shelter when it opened. George Willis was one such man. Together with his family, he arrived in the entrance cave to Vault 4 on the day of the Great War. Behind me, you can see the very tent he pitched for shelter, made from a recovered log and a sheet of plastic. It was a far cry from the shelters which would come later. Could he really have survived out here, all alone? Well, that's where the story goes next. He wasn't alone. Over time, more refugees began showing up at the vault seeking shelter. As more people came, they needed more living space. The early residents of Fourville began to dig out the walls of the cave and use reclaimed wood and dismantled vault tech equipment to build houses. This process is still ongoing as workers tirelessly dig to create new spaces for houses and maybe find a way inside the vault. Many of us in Fourville still dream that the vault may one day open, including members of the Church of the Four who you can see often uh, worship in this site. And that's the story of the Fourville Tents. If you want to learn more, you can visit the Fourville Museum or the Church of the Four. Not right now. We're open 24 hours a day if you change your mind.
didn't see you there. Just Welcome stop, to the Fourville okay? Museum. How can I help? TP Foo Fun. Hey there. Welcome to the Fortville Museum. I'm sorry about that little display when you got in. I've been having some technical difficulties with a new exhibit. What are you working on? Oh, this? It's a holotape. I bought it from a trader who came by a few weeks ago. He said it had some kind of game on it, but I've not been able to get it to run. It keeps saying I need to download update, but when I press the button, it just says cannot communicate with cloud server. I'm not sure what a lot of those words mean. I've tried everything I can think of. I even took it outside where it could see the clouds, but no luck. It's a real shame because it'd make a great addition to our new pre-war exhibition. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Maybe there is something you can do. I had wondered if it might be possible to download update directly from the company who made the game. My museum duties keep me so busy, I wouldn't be able to go myself. The game was made by a company called Real Patriot Games. You might be able to download update from their headquarters. If you're able to do that for me, you'd be doing the museum a really big favor. New mission objective received. Mission set is active. <clears throat> Any word on the game? What is this place? This is the Fourville Museum. Here you can learn anything you want about the founding of the settlement all the way back in 2077, or right up to the modern day. Also, we're going to be opening a special exhibition shortly on the pre-war world more broadly. You can find it in the back room. I'm interested in the history of this place. Then you've come to the right place. You can look at all the exhibits we have, or talk to me if you have any specific questions. What do you know about Vault Tech? Vault Tech was a pre-war company which built massive underground vaults for people to survive the nuclear war. From the promotional material I've read, they were equipped with all the modern amenities. They look like lovely places to live. Tell me more about this vault. Very little is known about the vault itself. Its doors have never opened. Generations of Fourville residents have tried to find a way in, but to no success. Some of the only examples of Vault 4 jumpsuits are in the display across from the door, as well as some Vault 4 bobbleheads. They say Vault Tech produced a full set, but I've never come across any. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? Fourville was founded when a man named George Willis decided to set up camp outside Vault 4 and wait for it to open. That was over 200 years ago, and since then, the town has changed a lot. It's the work of every generation which came before us. At the Fourville Museum, we're proud to have a special display of George Willis's personal artifacts. Our prized possession is his terminal, but that's off limits. I don't have any more questions. Anything else I can help you with? I'm just gonna take a look around. You're welcome to take a look around any of the exhibits or ask me if you have any questions. The museum is open 24 hours a day.
Bosco says that I'm just too important to leave the HQ, I think it's safe to say that the whole place would fall apart without me. My main work at the moment is dealing with outstanding bounties. Say, I just had a bright idea. How'd you like to help me out with my work? I want to hear the details first. It's dirty work, I won't lie. The people we're talking about are real terrors, and they need to be put down. If you can take down the people I send you after and bring me back some proof, I'm authorized to pay you a bounty. Yeah, I'll do it. That's real good news. First one I've got is a real troublemaker. Swung through town a couple months back and did all kinds of damage in the bar. Dirty rascal he was. Looked like he crawled out of the gutter or something. That must be how he got his nickname. Gutter Garfunkel, his name is. If you can deal with him and bring me back some proof, I can pay you the bounty. New mission objective received. Mission set is active. This guy's trouble. Excuse me. Yeah, what is it? You have a crime to report? What's the security like around here? Now you're asking questions I'd like to answer. Fourville security is in tip-top shape. I got here is in shambles. But a bit of military discipline whipped them right into shape. <laughs> you were a soldier? With what army? Ah. Uh, this was a long time ago. I lived out west. It was all very boring, really. Just filing work. But it was discipline. You better believe it. New mission objective received. You're upset about something. I can tell. You're a smart one, aren't you? Yeah. The army was a hard time for me. It was for everyone. But I don't like to talk about it. I don't have anything to report. Then why are you wasting my time? If you want to chit-chat, go talk to Sanders. All she does is sit on her ass at that desk all day. Mission set is active. Chance by my goats. <clears throat> Always nice to meet a new customer. Name's Mike. Just Mike, not Michael or Mickey. No surname, just Mike. Got that? You want guns, I've got guns. You want work, I've got work. What'll it be? I'm looking for work. Sure, I got work for you. Let me give you the rundown, and if you're interested, you can start right away. It's pretty simple stuff. I'll give you a shipment of weapons, you take them to a client, and you come back here and pick up your payment. If you're interested, we can hash out a contract right here and you get started. The base rate is 100 caps per job. How's that sound? I'm gonna need more than that. I'd have been surprised if you said anything other than that. No one ever accepts the base rate. I'll put you down the real money. 200 caps. I want more details than that. What else is there to know? You sell a guy guns, you get paid. All right. Let's get started. Glad to have you on board. Here's the first shipment. Take it to the buyer and then come back to me during work hours to collect your payment. I look forward to a long and fruitful business partnership. New mission objective received. Mission set is active. Anywhere.
my service, isn't it? What happened? Come with me. I think we need to have a talk. I'll explain everything. I think some of my best memories in Nevada were looking out on Lake Mead. It's a shame the water here is so dirty. But in Nevada, it's completely clean and still there's nothing more beautiful than watching the sunset from over Dam. I lied to you about my army service because when I was discharged. I wanted to leave it all behind. I walked out on everything. My home, my family, all the ideals of the Republic. I just wanted to get as far away from it as possible. That's why I came to the other side of the country. I need to put as much physical distance between myself and what happened. I suppose deep down I wanted someone to find out. That's why I kept my thing. I had to take responsibility. The water? The water relaxes me. Reminds me of better time. I was in the army back in California. The new California Republic, where I grew up. I stationed in Nevada, guarding a place called Hoover Dam. The place was a mess when we got there. Raided tribes and junkies whipping each other apart. And the big players were all vying for the dam. One of the tribes, the Great Khans, was a lot of trouble back in the day. We tracked a group of them to a place called Bitter Springs. We were expecting it to be full of armed raiders. And our orders were to shoot until we ran out of ammo. That's what we did. God only knows how many we killed before we realized they were women. Children. And the sick and the elderly. We didn't know whether to stop or carry on. The Major just stood there. She just watched as we killed them. She froze up. He said afterwards. How could you do that? You should have intervened. So, you agree then? I would wake up night thinking the exact same thing. In the end, someone else intervened and stopped it all. You know what the worst part was? They promoted me for it. Exceptional bravery, they said. Shame on them. As soon as I could, I left the army and went as far away from California as I could get. Now here we are. It's all caught up with me. I realize now that there's no sense in hiding from it. I need to take responsibility for what I did. I need to be punished. I want you to kill me. You can't be serious. I'm afraid I am. I've thought about this for a long time. Now you're here. You've heard my story. 
think it's the right time. I want you to kill me. Is there anything I can say that will change your mind? There's nothing. I've been thinking about this for a long time. The only thing that stopped me from killing myself is because there's no one to remember what happened. Now, you know my story. It's up to you to remember it. I won't do it. Please, just do it. I made up my mind. Someone has to pay for what happened. Someone has to be punished. I've always found that the best way to heal is to help others do the same. I think I hear what you're saying. If I'm gonna make it right, then I need to help people. Thanks for your advice. I think I know exactly who I need to help. If I want to bring about healing. I'll see you on the caravan trail. Mission objective completed.
My dad told me about movies, so I know what they are. I've never seen one. Get the hell out of my face. Location discovered.
never know what's around the next corner. Location discovered. TP Foo Fun.
feeling.
got a minute? Find wicked trucks New all location over the discovered. Locked up and loaded with. Aim for the head.
the Abernathy's on this farm. Haven't been up here in a while. Raiders hit the place and killed one of their daughters. Fucking raiders. The only thing worse than a raider. Hi. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. You have anything to trade? You look in the trade, you can talk to my wife. She's up by the house, but be warned. You try anything, you're asking for a fight. Excuse me. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. What kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far, but we're starting on melons. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? How long has this farm been here? Generations, I'd say. My father, and his father at least. How about you? Ever think about working the land? What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor. And you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't ain't gonna last long. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? point? Raiders are a problem for everyone. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. Yeah, it can be a real monstrous world. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Do you know where they're coming from? Yeah, pretty sure I do. One of them mentioned Olivia while they were here. My guess is they're holed up in that old USAF station. New mission objective received. Mission set is active. Location discovered.
Star Trek. Fenrir show front outfit please. I don't sleep or eat or anything like that. But if you need to, you do it. Nice logo. Thanks for watching. Bye and see my next stream. Thank you so much my friends and viewers. End of my stream. I will raid Bukayun. Bye and CYA soon. Fenrir 2 bye. 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. 물결표 사인 바이. Thanks for watching till the bye.